Now, what we want to do here, in order for them to fade out, is to add a force. You can see them as actual forces in real life, such as gravity force, friction force, and other known forces. But there are some game forces, which are not actual forces, but they can still be selected. And this kind of uh, particle management is very convenient. If we want them to fade out, just add a fade out force. You will see a new window pop up with fade out force, and you can choose the time in which you want them to fade out. Now I want it to be maximum of 1 and minimum of 0.5. And let's see how it shows. Yes, as you can see, they disappear slowly. And if you think that you've chose wrong parameters, you can change them very easily by going back to particle template and clicking on affecting forces. Then choose your force and you can cho uh, change it just like this. Now I'm going to put it at 0.8 and this back to down to 0.3 so they disappear quicker. Alright, I probably want to get the lifespan down a little. I'll leave 3 as the maximum and 2 as the minimum. Alright, now we want them to fade in just as well so let's add a fade in force. And fade in force, choose a low value like 0.2 or 0.4, something like that. And let's see. As you can see, they are actually fading in. Just work very quickly. Alright. Now, one thing you may want to choose is friction force. Or in this uh, case, per particle friction. And choose the friction to be something like 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 in this case. Remember you can always change it. And as you can see they are moving a lot slower. And forces a kind of round object. Now, what if we want to add something else? Like some particles that are flowing up well, just add a new particle template. In this case, we want to add a rotating particle template. That's the most common template you will ever use. And now go to Sprite Particle Template. Choose the sprite back from Particle Systems here. And I'll choose Sparks. I'll choose then a white spark, sparks 18, use it as the sprite for this. And as you can see we have this white thing here. We will change this quickly. Now, rotating particle template is very interesting. You can have the angle set. I will have 360 here and you can see that this has turned into an interesting orb. So let's change some other parameters like initial lifespan. If you choose 2 and 1 you get a uh, more filled orb. Now what we want to do is as you can see, these are quite big for our choice, so let's make it a little smaller. Initial size, let's change it to something smaller, like 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and you can see that this is a lot smaller. Okay, now what we want to do is again add fade in and fade out 
Also, I want to add some speed to them. Initial speed. And something like 200 and 100. And as you can see, yay, we have snowflakes. But we do not want to have snowflakes, although even an emitter like this is very interesting and can be used in a lot of places. In fact, you could even create a map where you can use these snowflakes as an effect of snow. Now, what we want to do is again add fade in and fade out effects. And fade in force of 0.2.4 then add a fade out force fade out force of 0.6.3 and as you can see they are now fading out and uh, now what we want to do is use a few more forces. Now as you can see they are white. We do not want them to be white so what force should we use? Why? Of course the color force. And we want to choose a color uh, and in this case using three dots is not bad and just use the color you want. I want this deep blue color and that's all and as you can see we have now blue sparks and uh, yeah now what we want to do is change the friction for them uh, this will be per particle friction change them to something yeah something like that so they would travel faster than these sparks now what I want to do now is add a gravity force so they would be blown up oh it's per particle gravity yes they do not have a gravity force as a whole now you have a choice to use zone gravity and look what happens if we turn it to true they fall down because the gravity here well does affect them we do not want them to affect our particles and instead we want them to go up so let's choose minus 150 and minus 100 and let's see what happens they are now going up and those pretty hard to see was there this deep blue so let's change a few more settings initial lifespan should be uh, maybe up to 2, 3 and uh, yeah that looks a lot better as you can see they are still sprayed down and then up that is good with me and yeah now we want them to be a little more dense more than only 20 so let's go to particle salamander change its volume to something like 40 and we can see that this has become a very nice effect that we can use for pretty much any kind of effect okay this is basically what I wanted to show you oh and I could actually make the streaks a little more pronounced I could change the length a little more so to 20 and to 10 and we have some interesting spark effects yes that's all I wanted to do and to show so don't be afraid to just experiment with all the settings I should say that one very effective way to learn how to use this uh, particle generator is to just go to another particle and try to copy them. You can get a very nice uh, particle 
by just copying another one and thus getting inspiration for new ones. And with that, I am ending this tutorial and see you all next time.